Hi guys, welcome back to the series. In this video, what we're going to do, we're going to start off really simple. We're going to create all of our sprites and we're going to optimize them for our game. So if you've not already done so, follow the link in the description, download the asset pack that I've provided. This contains every sprite, every background image, all the UI elements, even the logo for this game. And what we're going to do, we're going to open up that folder. I have it open up in my second monitor over here. And what we're going to do, we're going to select all of our elements and simply drag and drop them into our sprites folder. And here they all are. Now, the way that I've set up these sprites, they're on a 16 by 16 grid. And several of the images, if not most of the images, contain multiple sprites on one sprite sheet. So let's go in and we're going to set up all of these sprite sheets so we can use individual elements from them. If we select every one of our sprites, we can set uh, pixels per unit to 16 because that's the base pixel size, 16 by 16, that I chose to use. We're going to set a filter mode to point no filter. We're doing this because this is going to be a pixel art game and setting the filter mode to point no filter basically removes the anti-aliasing and it preserves that hard, crisp pixel art edge that we need. And finally, we're going to go into the compression settings and we're going to set this to none. That should remove any weird discoloring or artifacts from our sprites. So we can hit apply on this. And the vast majority of our sprites should be ready to go. One more thing that we're going to need to do is for our Space Invaders main texture sheet. Our icons, health and pickups. We're going to need to set these from sprite mode single to multiple and apply that as well. Now the reason that we need to do that is because these four are the ones that have multiple images on one sheet so we're going to want to split these up into individual images. So let's go ahead and do that starting with our main Space Invaders sheet. We can come back over to our import settings and hit the sprite editor button and depending on your setup, you may or may not get this message. What this is saying is we don't have the 2D sprite package installed in our project. So the way that we can get around this is we can open up Window Package Manager and search 2D and we can see 2D Sprite. And we'll just click Install on this. This may take a few minutes. And there we have it installed. So now that we've installed that package, we should have access to our Sprite Editor. So if we click on our Space Invaders Sprite Sheet again, click Sprite Editor, we'll get this window. Now as you can see in this sheet, I have five aliens, each with a two-frame idle animation. I have a Sprite for the Friendly Bullet, an Enemy Bullet, a three-framed Explosion, our Player's Ship, the Mothership that flies in at the top of the screen, and four varying levels of damage for the shields, the blockers that are above the player. Now we'll worry about that in a later video. What we're going to do right now is split up this individual sprite sheet into multiple sprites. So we can do that by clicking Slice. We know our cell size It's going to be 16 by 16. So we can add in 16 by 16 on our pixel size. Slice. And now we can see that each one of our individual sprites is selectable. Now the next step, I'm going to speed up because you don't want to see me typing in a name for every one of these, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename each one of these just so they're easier to find inside my project window. So the way we do this, you click on one, where the name is, I'm going to call this Alien01 and it's frame zero. Next, Alien 01 and then this one is frame 1 and I'm going to go ahead and do this for each one of my images. So there we go as you can see now every one of my sprites has an individual name so these are going to be much easier to find inside of our hierarchy or our project. So we can apply all of our changes, close that out and now if we expand our Space Invaders sprite, 
we can see each one of these uh, their own individual sprite so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do exactly the same as what i've just done for my health icons and pickups so again i'll fast forward this because you already know how to do this i've just shown you so now as you can see if i just expand some of these i have all of my gen generic Space Invaders sprites, all with their own name. I also have health icons, standard icons, which are things like accept, achievements, all the way down to uh, Facebook and Instagram icons, for example. And uh, pickups, which are some coins, a health pickup, and an extra life pickup. Both of these have two sprites because we're going to make animations out of all of these and then we've got a six sprite coin spin. Next up we're going to want to split up our border and our button. This is going to be done slightly differently. This time we want to keep it as a single sprite but if we enter the sprite editor we can set a border. Now what a border is going to do is it's going to take our single sprite and stretch or tile certain elements of it when we put it on a UI element. So again, this is a 16 by 16 base grid size, but I have it as a, what is it? It's 48, 48 by 48. So effectively I have a 3 by 3 of 16 by 16. That'll make sense in just a second. Down here in our border section, we want to set the borders for the top, bottom, left and right, all to 16. So we can either drag these green lines down, or a lot easier, we can just type 16 into every one of these. And now you can see we've got a 3x3 grid, which contains 16x16 16 16 cells. So we can apply that and do exactly the same for a button again this is going to be 16 by 16 by 16 we'll apply that and i think that's our initial setup for our sprites completed so we'll keep this video short and sweet in the next video what we're going to do we're going to be creating some prefabs out of our newly created sprites and we're also going to set up some of the basic animations as well so follow me on over to the next tutorial and I'll see you there.